Pam Brooks, congratulations on your role in this new film and in producing it. Thank you. Uh, was there a point at which you knew that you wanted to be involved in this documentary? And was there a point when you knew that you were going to be at the center of it? Um, yes and no. I didn't know that I was going to get involved and I didn't know I was going to be the center, no. <laughs> well, so what affected the, the change? What, it seems as if you get more and more involved in the film as it goes on. I'm a, um, I'm a recovering addict and I was on the streets so I know how it is and um, I mean I knew Lonnie personally you know in the streets I met him out there hustling and doing different things and just because of the damage he caused to different women and um, then I changed my life and you know I reach out to anybody because I've been there. What kind of a filmmaker is Nick Broomfield and what's it like to take him through this world that you're so familiar with but which is so strange to him? Nick is an awesome guy. I mean, he's the best. This is the first film I ever done, and it's wonderful. You know, it's amazing. Coming from where I come from, it's amazing that they asked me, and I took them on the tour, and let's, I, we did it. Yeah. These were two British boys, and I was like, this is amazing because nobody else came around to in, inquire about us. Here's two British boys, and they asked me, we need your help. I said, I'm, I'm in. And one of the most interesting things in this film is the way that it shows Los Angeles over 25 years. How have you seen the city change in that time? No, somewhat no. For us, about no. I mean, I don't think, you know, it's going to have. A, it's going to take a lot because drugs play a major part in, in Los Angeles. You know, South Central, you know, and um, you have to get, you know, women have to get their lives. People, people, not just women, men too. You know, they have to figure out which way they want to go. You know, as long as you have a drug habit, you're going to be in, live that kind of life. But if you over the change, you have a different life like I do, because I have a different life. You know, I have a job, I'm a caregiver, I live in a three bedroom house, I have a dog, and I, I'm just doing pretty good with living. You've been actively involved in promoting the film. What do you want on you to take away from it? Nothing. Nothing? No. No, wait, wait, wait. Come here, Barney. What? Come here, ask, come here. Let me come here. <laughs> ask me that question again. Ask me that question again. I'm Pam's interpreter. Ask me that question again. I was just asking Pam, uh, you both have been so involved in promoting the film and talking about it all over the country. What do you want audiences who see the film to take away from it? I said nothing. Was that what I supposed to say? Why are you asking me? No, I don't even know you. Who no, are you? <laughs> Right what do you what do you want what do you want people to take away from the film? Um, the property that if you're a drug addict, what we have to go through, and you know the survival that you know the, that what I had to go through to get out of it, and maybe someone can see me and take that and want to change their life. Yeah. There you go. Thank you so much. Okay. Congratulations. Okay.